Talk to any member of law enforcement, they'll tell you the reason we have more homicides and more serious crime is because of drugs. Montana is a northern border state with a southern border crisis. Everyone up here shares a common goal to bring this crisis to an end. This is an absolute poison that is tearing our communities and our state apart. This is colorless, odorless, and tasteless, and it comes in micrograms sufficient enough to kill a, a trooper making a traffic stop or one of these deputies behind. Fentanyl and mass seizures are at a critical crisis levels, as well as increase in violent crime. We are halfway through 2022, and we are already on pace to shatter, absolutely shatter, last year's record seizures of illegal fentanyl in Montana. And predictions that were due to surpass the number of guns seized on drug cases from last year. We've got to stop this. It's, it's one thing to have intervention and treatment here in our communities, but we have to stop the flow. We know where this fentanyl is coming from. It's 100% being made by the Mexican drug cartels in Mexico using largely Chinese ingredients, and it's smuggled across our southern border because the border is wide open and because President Biden is not enforcing the immigration laws that we already have on the books. We need prosecutors and government officials like the ones standing up here today that are serious about getting to work and getting this problem solved with fentanyl. I want to uh, take the time to thank Senator Daines. A lot of this uh, criminal interdiction team uh, came through a US DOJ camp grant. Talk about a very, very ugly scourge that has affected Montana, and that is the scourge of fentanyl. And I'm grateful for the men and women in law enforcement, drug interdiction, that are working their hardest to keep our community safe.